for a complete draft breakdown, we welcome in our first overall picks because we can have two of them, at least in, in our world, as we welcome in former Notre Dame standout NFL quarterback Brady Quinn and CBS Sports HQ senior NFL analyst Pete Prisco. Start with the biggest winner of the 2021 NFL draft. Pete, the team that won the draft was who? The Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I just love what they did. Uh, I think Rick Spielman and gang had an outstanding couple of days. And when you look at it, they love Christian Darisol, right? So they end up trading down and getting him and adding some picks. Uh, you look at he's going to be your starting left tackle, which they had to fill. Wyatt Davis, they came back and got him. He's probably going to be the starting left guard. So just in those two picks, you've upgraded your offensive line. But then you go through the rest of the draft. And they really addressed their defensive needs. Uh, they needed to get a linebacker who could be a, a down-the-road kind of special teams guy. Surratt will be that. Uh, they drafted a corner in Bynum. Robinson has a lot of pass rush ability from Florida State. I love the pick of smith Marset. And then the, the icing on top is Kellen Mond. You know, when you look at this team, with the way Kirk Cousins has played, he's been a middling quarterback in terms of wins and losses. But more than that, he's got a $45 million cap hit next year. Uh, and that's a big number. So getting a young quarterback is something they needed to do. And Kellen Mond has a lot of talent. He's going to be a good player in this league. So I love what the Vikings did. This one was easy for me because the team I picked, well, they, they start off the draft taking the best player overall. That's the Jacksonville Jaguars getting their opportunity to take a franchise quarterback in, in Trevor Lawrence. So it starts there and then really with getting one of the more dynamic playmakers out of the backfield. My favorite running back and Travis Etienne also in the first round to pair with Trevor Lawrence. But it seemed like round after round, pick after pick, they were addressing either a need or a potential concern. Tyson Campbell, the second in the second round as a cornerback, who I think will pair very nicely with Shaq Griffin, who they added through free agency, along with C.J. Henderson. Walker Little makes them bigger and better up front, potentially becomes that left tackle. I know Pete thinks I'm crazy, but uh, maybe I heard from a bird that you sli uh, slide Cam Robinson down inside and Walker Little becomes that blindside left tackle. Andre Sisco, the safety out of Syracuse, the third round. I love his range, his playmaking ability. I think he's going to fit in that secondary nicely, and that was something that they needed to improve upon and adding a different element there. J2 Fele, I like to call him the dancing bear. He'll add a little depth there in the interior of the defense, but they got to be better against the run. Two Fele was one of the bright spots, but for a guy who's six foot three, 315 pounds, he's stout, but he's also pretty nimble and being able to uh, be able to, to penetrate against the run or pass. Jordan Smith, you take a flyer on him as far as an edge player out of UAB. Luke Farrell, who Coach Urban Meyer is very familiar with, is more of your traditional wide tight end, but actually is a little more of a plus athlete than I think most people give him credit. And then Jalen Camps, most likely going to be a special teams player potentially able to develop something down the road as a wide receiver. However, that position group's pretty strong. Bottom line is, with this draft class, on top of what they did in free agency, the Jacksonville Jaguars have set themselves up to be a contender right away, probably more competitive than anything else, but potentially a team that could finish second in this division in the AFC South. See if it turns into a playoff appearance in year one for Urban Meyer and company. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.